So the International Continent Society is going to be in Vienna, one of the world's great cities with culture and food that's absolutely world class. I'm really looking forward to being there in person. It has been a long time since we could all convene in one spot and nothing replaces the conversations, the interactions that you have. After three years, I'm very happy to see all the friends again, to, to see how they are doing after three years, but also in order to make progress uh, in, in our fields of continents, uh, I think it's, it's, it's very important. To, to have that meeting. I encourage everybody to check uh, the program of ICS 2022, and which is actually a very rich uh, program from the scientific point of view. Stena Hunskar from Norway is talking about how do we know anything, and then, then uh, Laurie Berger from US and Chris Chappell from the UK are talking about uh, uh, rejuvenated bladder and devastated bladder. So it's, those are going to be highlights. It's always a very exciting meeting. It's always a very social meeting as well. On this particular occasion, I'm due to be speaking in a roundtable session with some other international speakers looking at the management of the devastated bladder. It's a very difficult problem to manage and I'm looking forward to the interaction and the discussion that comes out of that. My favorite are the video sessions because the ICS always chooses some fantastic videos where one not only can learn, but also share experiences, how things are done differently all over the world and can incorporate that into our clinical practice. It's going to be well attended with the key members of uh, gynecology, urology, physiotherapy, nursing and all the relevant fields. I, I'm looking forward also to see the members of ICS. I feel very much in a family like in ICS. Vienna is an excellent venue for such a congress. It's not only the tradition of the Austrian-Hungarian monarchy, which you will find still there. It's not only the town of music, of the Strauss family, it's not only of the town of Wienerschnitzel, but it, it has also a long tradition in medicine. So I think for those considering coming to Vienna this year, you should absolutely take the opportunity to come in person. Of course, if you can't, uh, the organizers understand and there will be a virtual program. But I really think being there in person, being able to see the speakers live, have the opportunity to interact, uh, meet with new friends, meet with old friends, uh, discover a beautiful city, it really is a compelling reason to come in person.